thank you for giving us the floor and we shall speak about our efforts which had been taken uh, within the scopes of our uh, project. First of all, uh, oh, do, do you see? Yes, yes, that's yes. visible. So, first of all, a few words about our investigation area. So, from the Russian side, it were there was two uh, administrative regions. Kostomovsky and Muizersky, with a total area more than 2 million hectares. Uh, and you see that uh, this uh, region, uh, this area located in the western part of the central Karelia, or uh, uh, maybe uh, so-called uh, the zone of, uh, the central zone of uh, Euro <coughs> European or Finnoscandia Green Belt. <coughs> Uh, it uh, should be mentioned that, uh, as you know, uh, forest lands are in federal ownership uh, in in Russia. So, and uh, federal level, it's uh, de <coughs> delegate some of their rights to a regional level, uh, uh, <coughs> where the the head of the these uh, forest authorities is uh, so-called Ministry of Nature Resource. Uh, uh, nature resource use and uh, ec ec ecology. And also uh, this ministry, uh, for example, Karelian ministry, it's uh, governing uh, a number of uh, their, uh, their uh, uh, institutions, so-called Lesnichestvo. And uh, 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 these uh, these institutions, these organizations, uh, they are subdivided in uh, the categories of central Lesnichstva, uh, with their borders, uh, which boundaries or borders are coincide with their uh, border boundaries of <coughs> administrative administrative region, and also so-called local Lesnichstva, which is called Uchestkove uh, Lesnichstva. Uh, so, and in our work, we use a number of uh, main source of uh, uh, regional and raw data. The first uh, source was handwritten records from special workbook for forest fire registers, registering. And uh, then uh, this uh, information has been converted. Uh, uh, has been converted to uh, formats of Excel and Access. Uh, then the next uh, main uh, source of raw data was it was, was the GIS database of forest units, which is called in Russian Vidla. Uh, uh, this database concerned uh, the main uh, central. Лесничество Костомукское, Лесничество Муизерское, Лесничество and uh, Strict Nature Nature Reserve Костомукский. Uh, this uh, database <coughs> it uh, include all information uh, information all attributive and uh, graphic information concerning uh, biotopes at the levels so of biotopes. Uh, <coughs> Then, and uh, at the last step, uh, all this information concerning uh, uh, fires and uh, concerning uh, biotopes has been uh, 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 taken together in a uh, GIS database in, <coughs> uh, in, which we have in, uh, in which we have the whole information concerning the stand or biotope and uh, uh, concerning fire, uh, fire causes, uh, fire, fire, fire events. So, and you see uh, in the right part of the, this slide, you, you can see uh, so attributive information concerning uh, the uh, quartal, widow, or maybe other, all other features of the stand 
and uh, uh, then uh, all information concerning the place of the the date of the fire event, uh, its type, uh, which were subdivided in seven categories, and uh, uh, the main core or the cause of the fire if it it was registered. So uh, you see the, these categories as unknown when it was not recorded, anthropogenic, uh, which is concerned mainly with, of course, uh, <clears throat> human activities, such kind, kind of uh, campfire fires or cigarette butts or uh, sparks from the uh, locomotives uh, and uh, cars and so on. And the third uh, variant was um, quite uh, Interesting, it is uh, some uh, all events or accidents uh, in which uh, we have uh, natural lightning, lightning uh, uh, which is blow in uh, with uh, electric power lines. So, uh, in, the, in this slide, you see distribution pattern of forest fires in Costa Muxa region and uh, subdivided by. Uh, fire calls. And you can see that uh, these events uh, can be easily grouped uh, along uh, railroads, uh, automobile roads, and uh, all uh, 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 lake shores and so on. So the places are of interest for uh, uh, hunters and fishermen. And uh, within the whole bulk of our uh, fire events, so anthropogenic uh, events uh, prevails substantially. But uh, in and sometimes uh, the total area and mean area of these uh, events were quite equal, but in many cases, uh, or in many cases, uh, you, you will see later, the mean size of natural uh, uh, native forest fires will be, uh, will, uh, was substantially larger. <clears throat> and you can see on this slide, on this um, picture that um, within Costa Moksha region, there, <clears throat> there were no uh, forest uh, fire events uh, just near border line. Uh, even though the <clears throat> our uh, uh, administrative regions are closely uh, are in closed neighborhoods with each other. Uh, so the distribution pattern of forest fires in Muizierski region or Muizierski central Lesnictwa uh, was by, uh, differ substantially from the Costa Moksha region. So <clears throat> there were a lot of fire events in uh, within the investigated period and also anthropogenic uh, fires prevail uh, uh, from uh, in this statistic but there were you can see that there was there were a lot of events just near the border lines and uh, as we see uh, as we saw from the uh, <coughs> previous presentations uh, very interesting was uh, it was very interesting uh, uh, part of the border just uh, beneath Tulas. Oh, on this, uh, in this, uh, within, in this picture, these blue colored cross-lined uh, polygons uh, means uh, it reflects uh, the so-called perspectives of uh, protected areas. So the areas which is very interested, interesting from the point of view of uh, biodiversity protection, but uh, they are not they are not operating uh, protected areas. Uh, operating protected areas is show, are shown by red line polygon, polygons. Uh, uh, naturally, and uh, it's not surprising that uh, the main uh, object and the main uh, uh, fire areas, uh, there were there were pine stands. So uh, pine stands accounts for just around 90% of uh, 
fire areas. Uh, and within these uh, pine stands and pine biotopes, uh, cowberry types and bilberry types, so it's Vaccinium vitis idea and Vaccinium myrtilis, uh, accounts for just about 80% of uh, uh, this fire area. Uh, 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 <coughs> so, as I say, uh, despite the close Closed, closed adjacency of our regions, uh, the distribution distribution patterns of fire cases within these uh, uh, regions it uh, differs uh, substantially. So in Kostomuksha uh, region and Kostomuksha district, uh, it was only one uh, year of high fire activity. It was two thousand six. And uh, within Muizirski region, we see at least three uh, line peaks in 2006, 2000, 2010, and 2013 years. Uh, it's not also surprising that uh, the most flammable uh, months were June and July and uh, also August. Uh, it reflects the situation uh, concerning uh, human activities in autumn, uh, which is uh, concerned uh, gathering of wild uh, berries and uh, fishing and hunting, but mainly wild berries and mushrooms. So, and when interesting distribution is, uh, 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 can be seen concerning a uh, type of fires. So within Kostomuksha Lesnichstva, the main type of forest fire were stable ground fire of middle in intensity, uh, just about 50% uh, of the total area, with the mean area uh, about 40 uh, hectares. But in Muizirski uh, region Lesnichstva, the main <coughs> uh, also uh, stable ground fire of high intensity were presented and, and uh, was presented and running ground fire also. Uh, and you see that the mean area of uh, running ground fire was much higher, more, 10 times higher than the mean area of uh, ground fire. Uh, so, from these figures, we can see that Moiserski Lesnichstva in Moiserski region is uh, more flammable and uh, it, ha it has a more fire, higher fire risk for its uh, forests. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> and oh, uh, the next table also approved uh, uh, the figures which were uh, shown earlier concerning. Uh, the, uh, the presence of uh, extremely large events. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and also we can, uh, all, as I say, uh, say earlier, so central Lesnichstva, they are subdivided in local uh, institutions or local uh, authorities, uh, just like, uh, uh, which is called uh, and uh, from this statistic, we can uh, highlight uh, the Lesnichstva or uh, areas we, which, were, which has the most, uh, the biggest areas which were covered by force. In Kostomuksha, it was Voknavalak, and uh, within Muizevsky Lesnichstva, it was so called Peninskaya Lesnichstva. Um, <clears throat> and uh, these line charts, uh, they approved uh, uh, <clears throat> the figures, and uh, we can see that in Muizevsky Lesnichstva, it was, uh, there were, there were three peaks of uh, uh, fire, in fire dynamics, and in two peaks, Peninska Lesnichstva uh, were on the front. And um, the, here is uh, 
this situation visualized uh, in two pictures shown, uh, which is uh, which show us uh, uh, the location of the biggest uh, fires uh, within this region. So the biggest fires took place in uh, Kostomuksha Lesnichstva with a, uh, <clears throat> in 2006 uh, uh, in the area which were uh, in the in this year it will uh, it were it was founded uh, uh, the national park Kalivalsky and uh, in Muizersky region region three more minutes, minutes. Mm -hmm. it was Pininska uh, Lesnichstva uh, and a few words about using the third main source of raw data or initial data, uh, so remote sensing data. Uh, in, the, in this picture, you see the place of a future uh, uh, fire. Uh, so, and <clears throat> brown uh, lines show us uh, the areas which were recorded by Lesnichstva and the red lines uh, show us uh, uh, the areas which were uh, outlined by using space remote, uh, remote spacing data, Landsat data. So this is the situation of uh, the year 2010. Uh, what? And finally, we can say uh, uh, we can say that the most uh, the easiest way uh, to count or to precise uh, to uh, the area uh, forest fire areas is to combine these uh, some maybe two approaches. Uh, when uh, you put the layer of uh, registered for a fire, uh, forest fires on the uh, uh, space image and then uh, you outline this uh, uh, area uh, manually and uh, then you can calculate the uh, uh, total area of uh, uh, forest fires. And uh, uh, the last uh, slide uh, for devoted to the uh, results of interpretation of Sentinel uh, Landsat, Landsat images on which, on which we can say in which uh, on this slide we can see uh, untouched or slightly disturbed landscapes and uh, secondary landscapes uh, uh, within our area in, of investigation. And uh, we see that uh, a lot of, uh, uh, so the distribution pattern of the forest fires uh, or within these types of landscapes. So thanks you for attention. Thank you so much, uh, Boris, for this presentation.